This is a LeBlond 24 inch from 1957. It's a Regal. Uh, it's got a 24 inch swing above the bed and a 34 inch with the gap removed. Normally you don't want to see it at this stage, but here's what happened. Sat for a while, the cross slide wouldn't turn at least not far enough. It'd turn a few degrees and that's it. I loosened the bolts. There's two bolts. And I thought maybe the bolt has to come all the way out for the cross slide to come up. Well, uh, I loosened the one up right in this position and I heard that except it didn't go all the way down to the pan. Instead, it went on to this area here. Well, the only way to get to this area is to remove the lead screw. Um, so how do you do that? Well, here's what you don't need to do. You do not need to take the handle off the carriage screw. This part is different. You do need to take this nut off here. You do need to take off the taper attachment if you have one so that the so that the shaft can go out in that direction. And you need to have enough space between the wall and here to get there. I had enough stage space that I could get this, cock it up, and then pull it out this way at a funny angle relative to the rest of the table. But yeah, you need you need that whole length to do it ideally. All right, but here's my problem. That little bolt that went down there fell right here. And then in the process of taking apart, both bolts fell into here. Now I got the th I got the thread out. But one of the bolts got shoved in here. And now this thing that used to go back and forth three or four inches doesn't. So that bolt is in here now. Well, that's not going to work. But here's what I did find out. You do not need to take this off to take the cross slide attachment off. Mine was jammed for whatever reason. I had both bolts loose. Could not lift it up. As soon as I got this piece off, guess what? It just fell right off. But, you know, now you can see what it takes to take that apart and what it takes to go to the next stage. Uh, stay tuned. To, uh, subscribe to my channel. I intend to put a stepper or servo motor on the X and the Y. I, wanna, I intend to put a more rigid cross uh, post tool post on here as well and I've got a 500 millimeter chuck that I'm going to restore and put on here and I'm looking forward to it it's from the bottom of the gap here to the center of the chuck it's almost 18 inches so I'm excited about that worth the work but if somebody finds this and I save you some of the headaches that I discovered uh, then it was a video worth making. Good luck to everyone.